good morning and good afternoon. Today, we honor the memory of Shabazz Bhatti, the first Federal Minister for Minorities Affairs of Pakistan, a renowned leader and fearless defender of the rights of religious and belief minorities in Pakistan. 10 years ago today, Shabazz Bhatti was tragically and brutally murdered on his way to work. A staunch advocate for interfaith harmony, Shabazz Bhatti strongly opposed his country's infamous anti-blasphemy laws and called for legal reform. While serving on the Pakistan cabinet, Shabazz Bhatti spoke up for the fundamental rights of all by calling for the release of Asya Bibi, who was arrested on false charges of blasphemy and sentenced to death over a disagreement with her neighbor. Despite threats to his personal safety, Shabazz Bhatti solemnly vowed to continue defending the rights of marginalized religious and belief minorities. The Taliban claimed responsibility for Shabazz Bhatti's shocking murder, alleging that he was a blasphemer. To this day, Pakistan has stringent anti-blasphemy laws which carry the death penalty for insulting religion. These laws are invoked frequently, often on trumped up allegations with reports that Pakistan is one of the worst countries in the world for enforcing anti-blasphemy laws. Both members of the Muslim majority and religious or belief minorities in Pakistan have been charged under anti-blasphemy laws. Such laws are often used worldwide to stifle the right to freedom of thought, conscience and religion or belief, as well as healthy dialogue and debate and violates a myriad range of rights. Their existence also encourages vigilante attacks with impunity and cripples the authority of the government. Globally, there is growing consensus that anti-blasphemy laws are contrary to the promotion of human rights. The UN Human Rights Committee has emphasized that prohibitions of displays of lack of respect for religion or other belief system are incompatible with international human rights law. Achieving equality and ending exclusion for religion or belief minorities, whether in Pakistan or beyond, requires that we embrace diversity through promoting and implementing international human rights standards. As we mark the 10 year anniversary of Shabazz Bhatti's tragic death, it is important to recognize and remember that his legacy lives on. The lessons that impart to us all that anti-blasphemy laws remain a significant and concerning risk for the enjoyment of the fundamental right to freedom of religion or belief. Today in his memory, I renew my call to Pakistan and other states to repeal anti-blasphemy laws which render societies dysfunctional through their use and abuse. Thank you.